The Last Breath is awesome. This is the first Kinetic 600 RPM adaptive frame auto rifle that we received in four seasons. Although the Ford Path has comparable stats to The Last Breath, it just didn't measure up compared to the Nong Hunger and the Summoner its energy alternatives. It could be that barrel perks are just better than side perks, or that the third and fourth column perks were just not great stat focus perks. Either way, it just didn't feel good to use at mid to mid long range, where it's best used in the Grandmaster Nightfall or for outranging hand cannons in PvP. The Last Breath and the Scath Lock now change its paradigm with availability from the Prophecy Dungeon and World Drops and great stats and perk options. Perks like Adagio, Frenzy, Demolitionist, Rampage, Multi-Kill Clip, Surplus, and Dynamic Sway Reduction to name a few. Finally, one of the most important things in Destiny 2 is to have your options covered. Considering that 600 RPM otters are my favorite, kinetic auto rifles are not really covered until now, and you never know what archetype will eventually get a big buff or what the artifact mods will be. This season, we only have auto rifles for barrier weapons outside of Ariana's, and having a good option in both slots is very useful.